y'all doing today? So, today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial on crochet, of course. Haven't did a video in a while. So, as of right now, you guys, um, I have perm in my head. I just did like a touch up, like the four corners. I'm going to let you see. just to touch up the back, the front, so that way, when I do my hair, my edges be laid, and my hair be slayed. So y'all, stay tuned for the remaining parts of this video. Bye. So you guys, my hair is permed. See? Well, my touch up. So now what I'm about to do is use some of this olive oil right here and I'm about to blow dry my hair. So watch this process and then I'll get on to crocheting. Today, I will be installing the Expressions um, by Old Tree. Um, it's the Kinky Bahama Locks and um, 20 come in a pack and it's crochet. Okay, and I will be showing you guys more of that. So, I'm just going to video and y'all excuse excuse me y'all I am comfortable today so um y'all just gonna have to excuse me but uh yeah so um right now I am parting my hair braiding it down okay. Take a little bit of um <clears throat> shining gel. This is what I like to use, y'all. Don't cost that much. And I'm installing with the weave. Um, I choose to use the weave because it protects the um crochet from pulling on your hair or whatever. So y'all. Um that's what I like to use. So, and y'all, if y'all hear something like a kid in the background, my daughter watching nursery rounds. It's the only way I can get her to sit down, and it's the only way I can proceed this video. So, right now, I'm just gonna break it right here. Y'all can see. And like I say, um, you don't have to take much hair. Um, it just takes a little bit. You just add it in with your hair and braid it in. Um, it actually just helps the crochet last longer and um, be um, more neat and hold its neatness. So that's 
the reason why I use um that's the reason why I use the weave or whatever. So And y'all, people always ask me, like, how you do your hair by yourself? Like, it just comes with great skills and experience, y'all. So, um, so, what I do is braid them semi-close together. And, um, I part big in the back. So that way, you know, it won't take up too much hair, won't take too much time. You know, when you're doing things by yourself, honey, you got to find a quick way to do it. But make sure that it looks neat and presentable. So, as y'all see this morning, I had uh, relaxed my... Um, my edges, the middle of my head, and um, just did like a little touch up or whatever. Um, I do that every time I do crochet because, like, you know, it just makes it last longer. You know what I'm saying? Makes it last longer. So. Oh, and I use this too. You can go to your nearest family dollar, Dollar General, and get it for a dollar. So, um, I just put a little bit on my head just so while I'm braiding, um, my hair won't be dried out and stuff like that. So, um, what I do, take a little bit of the, um, Shining Gem, put a little bit on the brush. Don't take much. Shiny Gem usually uh lasts me about maybe what five months. You know, if I don't have any clients hair to do or anything, it usually lasts me about five months. So it's a really good product. But when you braid it down your hair and everything, y'all. So, right now, I am going to um, fast forward this. So that way you guys can um, hear it with this video. That way y'all won't be sitting there watching me trying to braid and talk for long periods of time. Um, I just wanted to let y'all know the information uh, about the process of me doing my hair so i'm gonna fast forward this and hopefully soon i'll be installing the hair all righty I'm a glass braid. So, um, show y'all how to do this real quick. And then we're going to get into the installment. Right, y'all. So, you know, mommy, I'm a little sleepy. <laughs> it's been a long day today, y'all. I went to church today. I served Jesus. You feel me? I don't really like going to church like that nowadays because, like, you know, because people be saying they of the Bible and they don't be of the Bible, you know. So I just try to serve God and stuff and do what I know I need to do as far as that goes. But, uh, 
Yeah. So you guys, I am all finished with this process, y'all. It didn't really take me long, but I am all finished. So now what I'm gonna do is tie this tail. Um, this is the tail, y'all. <laughs> and um. Then we'll be installing my hair. Alright. So y'all, this is the hair. It got a little curl at the bottom. This is gonna be snatched. So I'm about to install this, y'all. And this part is a little poofy like this, you know. He's just making bohemian. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all the process of the installment, y'all. Coming along pretty nice. And it don't cost much. It only costs like seven ninety nine a pack. Um, different. I'm not gonna tell you to go to your local beauty supply store and try to get it or whatever because different hair stores have shipments for different kinds of hair. So um, if you find it, you might have to go online. But, um, as far as that goes, um, that's how much it costs. And, um, right now what I'm doing is I'm putting the hair in from the front. Um, just so I can go ahead and just fill in the back pieces, as you can see. Y'all, this thing looking nice. Like, it's like looking nice. I didn't, I really didn't think that these things was uh, going to look like that. But, they really look good. They look really, really good. So, like, they look really, really good. So, y'all, I'm going to put this little string on here. Um, just to give it some flavor or whatever. And I'll be back with the finished results in the video. Alright. 